Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm glad to see you guys here, and I'm more than thankful for all of your support. In 2017, I just started a YouTube channel out of the blue because I had no one that I knew that was into this same hobby of mine, the fish tank hobby, and I just wanted to share my hobby with people online, people who are like-minded, and perhaps help some beginners uh, as they come into the hobby and give them some information, some care guides. I never thought it would become a bigger channel. Now, of course, this channel isn't even that big, um, but I feel like nowadays, especially, you start seeing channels uh, that go through this phase. It's been a wild ride. It's been life-changing for sure. There are definitely highs and lows, and I enjoyed both of that. I especially enjoyed reading all your comments, and seeing all the support you've given me, seeing that you guys actually enjoy the content that I put out and asking for more even, like you want to see more of this guy, that's pretty surprising to me. That there were so many of you around the world in so many different countries that I've never even been to or sometimes never even heard of. My geography is horrible. People who have vastly different lives than I do that watch me and enjoy the content and share their fish tanks. It's been a joy seeing everyone fish tanks. But there just comes a day where Okay, I can't keep going with this. If I keep going with this, it's not gonna be great. I think everyone's going to actually unsubscribe if I keep going. Um, I think by the time I'm posting this, it's like March, just before the end of March. So right before April 1st. Now some of you might have been ticked off on that and you're probably already coming in like, okay, it's April tomorrow, so what's this guy got going on? There's no way that title isn't clickbait. Okay, to a degree, it's clickbait. Look, guys, I'm not quitting. I can hear the sighs of relief. Whoa, there's some crying as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I made you cry. Oh man, I feel really bad now. Okay, there's more crying than I thought there would be. Guys, just, do you need a tissue? Here, just take some, take some tissue, come on. No, I don't have Kleenex. Toilet paper rolls are already a commodity in this weather. Ain't nobody got Kleenex. All right, Mary, Mary, stop crying. Mary, I'm sorry, it was a joke. Ah, jeez. I swear, if people unsubscribe from this, I'm never taking part in April Fools in any capacity ever again. But okay, it's not 100% clickbait, okay? I wouldn't do you guys that dirty, all right? It is over to a degree for some of my tanks back there. And it is a start of a new phase for me because I am moving. I mean, every time you move, if you have fish tanks, you probably know what a headache it can be. The last time I moved, I only had one fish tank, it wasn't even that big, and I just started over. Anyway, no big deal, right? Now I got three fish tanks up here that I'm quite proud of and do not want to change at all. I've got Rapashi's enclosure, and I've got a mini pond, and guess what? We only have one single day to move, and we only get the keys at 12 p.m. noon. How is that possible? I'm going to die. Really not looking forward to that. In a way, it could be over. Like, worst case scenario, all three of these tanks get smashed in the ground, uh, Rapashi runs away and my goldfish just choose to pass away as well because goldfish, who knows. Knock on wood. Is this real wood? I think so. Now behind me, there is my beautiful 6.2 gallon that I'm very proud of. It's a forest, it's a, it's a pearlweed haven with some weeping moss and rotala and some nice pieces of salvinia. We got some tang in there left over. That's Rosé's Paradise. I don't want that to change at all, so I'm gonna try my best not to disturb it too much. Ugh, it's gonna be a nightmare. I'm already feeling the anxiety. Now, same thing goes with Forest of Crips. That is my favorite tank in this fish corner right now. I've had the Anubius Barteri since before I even started my YouTube channel. That thing's been with me. The Cribs have been doing awesome. The substrate is not even fertilized. That's amazing. There's some Java Fern and Java Moss taken off as well. There's some Endlers in there, some Shrimp, and I, I'm really hoping that I don't have to do much with that. I think I'm just gonna drain the water. Now the ADA Cube Garden 60P is actually due for a rescape. I don't know if you guys were here when I talked about it, but I'm not super happy with that scape, but not in terms of what you might be thinking. It's messy, but I actually want it messier because every single ADA tank I see is like this picture perfect CO2 boosted, super lit, like uh, Iwagumi scape or something super clean and just textbook, you know? I want to make make an ADA tank that is more natural, is more messy, just like what you see in nature. I don't want people to see that tank and be like, 
that looks like a piece of art, which is amazing still, but for, for the ADA, I really had the vision of a very, very sustainable, self-sustaining, uh, low-tech wallstead, pretty much fitting what the rest of my uh, fish corner is, fitting that theme of it, where water changes are very infrequent, super low maintenance, and I want people when they see it not to think of art, but think of nature. Like, oh, that is a piece of nature right there. That occurs naturally, because nature is art at the end of the day. For Rapashi's enclosure, I mean, I don't think that's gonna be too hard. Worst case scenario, like the soil gets really disturbed and the plants die, you know, things just break, I guess. Then I'll have to get a new one. That's, actually that's pretty bad, because these terrariums are not cheap at all. I don't know if I can afford a new one. Rapashi, you're gonna have to live on the streets after this. <laughs> Probably not something she wants to hear while she's trying to sleep. Pangea, that's gonna be fine. She's still living in her smaller aquarium, thank goodness. That was actually part of the plan. I was not going to start the 20 gallon up for her until I move or, you know, until she starts reproducing for me. I'm sorry for getting you guys with that April Fool's thing. Um, I know a lot of you really, really care about me. Some of you might be like, yes, this idiot finally decided to quit. I've had enough of him. But then the truth comes out and you're like, no, he's not quitting. No. But most of you, thank goodness, are happy that I'm here to stay and this is just an April Fool's <laughs> joke. I'm sorry. If I actually made you cry, you can... You can call me names in the comment section. I'll take full responsibility for my actions. Anyways, I'll see you after the move, I guess. Um, if I make it alive. Isn't that crazy? Like, people could just die. People could just pass. It's 2021 and we're still dealing with this death thing. Why do we even have agendas or planners? Like, how do you know you're gonna be alive next week having coffee with your friend? What a world we live in where any given moment, we could just stop being here and alive. <laughs> Anyways, that's kind of off topic. Not kind of, that's that's really, really off topic. I think, I think we're done here and <laughs> this video's done. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be filming the majority of the move because, you know, I, I, I told you I only have one day to move and I gotta move fast. There's no time to rest. Um, so most of that will not be documented for the best, for my mental health and capacity. Uh, but afterwards, what will be documented are the rescapes and maybe some tank updates. Hopefully, like I said, I won't have to rescape the 6.2 gallon or the Fluvo Edge. And look out for more goldfish things as well. And of course, Rapashi will always be here. Hopefully. See you guys in the next video. I hope you will forgive me. I hope that I have been forgiven by the majority of people. Don't forget to get your hands wet.